Okay, it's 5th of April, lovely day as you can see, nice blue sky, so I think I'm going to uh, prepare my bed from potatoes, I'm going to get my potatoes in today, I dug it over earlier on in the year to get the frost get out of it, so uh, I think it's time to do it, I'm going to take a chance because they say it's a little bit more frost coming, but uh, take a chance and let's see what happens. This is going to be my first bed, I'm going to dig that over again, uh, break, break it out a bit, loosen it up. And I'm going to plant my spuds today. Uh, Morris Piper, I've got. Yeah. Right. It's in there Already been done early on in the year. It's like the frost got at it, so I'm quite pleased with the soil. Just a quick turnover. Make it out. Be ready. I've already put. Um, chicken house and the chicken poo in it's all gone in ready so laughing really okay then I'll just take my little trench ready for them to go in pile it one side and then I'll pull it in again once I've got the spuds in thank you take a bit off the top These are my modest piper potatoes which have chitted, they've started well, so I'm now going to put them in the ground. I don't know, I've had a hands with the part, so I think I'll do it to be honest. I'll give it a try, see how it goes. As I say, I hope I'm not too early and jumping the gum with the frost, but it's getting on now, it's April, so I want to get them in. What I'll do with this also, I'll put some bone meal around it. As I said, it's already had plenty of uh, hen manure in throughout the year, which I'll put in as I take it out of the pens when I clean them out and thrust it away well. So I'm doing that. I'll get some of my bone meal. Bring it back over. Come on, let him in. I'll get about three rows in this. That's what, that's what I normally do. Well, I've only done it a couple of years, so I'm no expert at this. I'm only learning. So I'm always grateful for the advice people give me on YouTube. Right, for my next row, apparently. Okay, last row. I've actually got 27, well, actually, it's 28 uh, sweet potatoes in, in this particular bed in three rows. So, put them all over. One bed complete. So that's one bed with 28 sea potatoes and modest piper. So that's one bed completed. So what we'll do, we'll keep an eye on this throughout the year and we'll see the progress of them as they come up. Last year the beds did get up there, there was blight. So hopefully this year I won't. But if I do, they're still eatable. Okay, preparing the bed for my onion set. So I've got allium pepper, I think it's called. People, whatever they are. So I'm going to put them in. Uh, preparing this. So a nice fine tilt and it's, it's, it's going. It's moving around quite nice actually. Let it break down over the uh, over the winter. I took it over. So now, just a question now. I'll put these in. So we'll put them in now. Okay, I'm going to have 11 in a row basically. Get them in. 
This, so I'll put netting over them. As I found over the other year, I've done it last year, the birds were, or squirrels or whatever were getting in and digging off on me. I'd get up next morning, about half a dozen across the, across the bed. Yeah, okay, that's fine. All right. That's all the little onion sets in. So, what I've done here, I've got this little flame over it, which is actually them. Uh, but you get round your, your windows, um, uh, what well, I forget what they call it now, to, to fill in basically. So what I've done with that, I've got this netting, I'll put it over, put the net down because we get a lot of pigeons here. Also, as I said before, the squirrels, possibly pick up the birds, dig them up, so this will stop them doing that. Okay, what I'm doing now, I've dug the second plot over, and I've got some more potatoes. See potatoes, Charles, they're good for salad, boiling or roast. So what I'm going to do with this though, I'm going to use Nathan's suggestion. I'm actually going to go across the bed because I've only got 16 so I'll use maybe three quarters of the bed for the charlotte and I've got about another eight potatoes which are russet, I think they're called. Let me find the name of them. Uh, now then I can't find it, here it is. Right. Yes, called russet potatoes. Uh, ideal for bacon, roasting and chicken. So. I'll put them in this small section here, so then I'll know if I'm digging up that end, I've got Charlotte, if I'm digging up that end, I've got Russet. Okay, cheers. Okay, yeah, I've already done one row of Charlotte, so put this second row in now. Five to a row, basically. Some more in here. These are more than the chest of so. Quite happy to put them in. Them in there. Put a little bit of bone meal on top. Well, I'm sweet, see. Nathan doing a filming, my grandson. Start me third row about here. Let's trench out. Four to six inches down at least. And then as you go up, I'll build up on the sides of them. So it should be the last row of the child potatoes. I'm actually going to get six in this row, but I may as well put them in because I want that to be the last of the charlotte, which all the charlots are going to be this end. And the bone meal. Cover them up. But a wee day which we're gonna start. Get that out. So that is only child's in. Okay, that's all it rusted to I'll start again, I think. Right. What are these called? Russet potatoes in. There's only five, there's only five in a, in, a, in the actual uh, package. So what I've done here is I've separated that 
from that. They're my they're what they're not my shallows, what's the they called? Yeah, they're my shallows. They're my rushes. I'm gonna put another piece of wood there like that. And then I've still got some more of my Morris paper that I've put in this little section here, and that will be it for spuds for this year. So let's throw it in. That's it, lovely. Now I'll put that piece of divide wood in about there. Okay, a little, the last couple of uh, charlots in this end uh, to finish them off to get rid of them. So, get down a little bit, I'll say. And I'll have a little bit of ground left there. I want to put there, I'll put a few marigolds there at uh, this corner here when we finish. So, that's it, this is my dear wife Sue. Who loves helping me in the garden? She's a bit shy, but she's alright. See you later.